Hi everyone and welcome to the Pelvic Tuna. My name is Alina Philip, you can call me Ali, and uh, I'm a women's health and men's health physiotherapist. And today I'd like to help you debunk five myths about sex. Myth one. When it comes to sex and orgasm, everyone is a little bit different. So we know that depending on your life experience, depending on your, how your body works, and also depending on your relationship with intimacy, we know it will be a little bit different for everyone. And if we consider those that especially feel pain during intercourse, it is expected that it would be hard to reach an orgasm if the only experience you have with intercourse is pain. We also know that many of us have never experimented with our bodies and yes, I'm talking about masturbation. Due to some cultural and religious ideas uh, or simply because some people don't feel comfortable in exploring their own body, often the body creates some feelings of negativity towards touching oneself. So if that's the case, it is hard for people to know what they like during intercourse in order to pass the information for the partners. Therefore, it is often hard for people to have pleasure during intercourse and hence reach an orgasm. So communication here is key. Myth 2 According to a study, Cibolo, only 18.4% of women reported that vaginal penetration was enough for an orgasm. All rest of women said that either they required clitoral uh, stimulation or they said that intercourse would improve greatly if they had clitoral uh, st stimulation. Women in this study also reported different preferences for location, pressure, uh, direction of movement. So I think the most important thing to, we can take from this study is that you have to ask your partner what that partner wants and it will be quite different from what another partner that you may have had uh, would like to have. Three. Not all men need to ejaculate for them to have an orgasm and this is particularly true uh, in men after a prostatectomy which is a surgery that you do if you have had a prostate cancer. The reason why I really like to debunk this myth is because it is often associated with a feeling of guilt or a feeling of misunderstanding on the behalf of the partner because they feel often that uh, men are just faking an orgasm. Therefore, I could throw at all of you a lot of names of conditions that have been widely studied. Things like vaginism, vulvodynia, dyspareunia. One of the things that it means is just pain during intercourse. Either if it has been always like that and, pen and penetration is impossible, or it actually creates extreme pain, or is a new thing that has happened due to trauma or due, due to horm some hormonal changes occasionally. Not all cases are due to trauma or sexual abuse. So uh, sometimes these women do want intercourse. They feel desire, they want to. Often their bodies is just unable to relax for penetration to uh, occur or their tissues are really sensitized. So it is important to have a good team of health professionals helping them, namely a, psych a psychologist to help with the fear of intercourse, a physiotherapist that can deal with the pelvic floor uh, tightness and also a doctor that could also help with uh, making sure that it isn't a skin pathology or making sure that we don't have any other additional uh, conditions creating more pain. And then, Five. This is a this is one of my favorite ones, and I want you to stop thinking about the pelvic floor and let's think about a bicep. So I want you to imagine my bicep, and my bicep is a special type of bicep that can only let us imagine contract, and it can only contract. I can guarantee that if it is starting to work, all of a sudden it can only be here. So as you can imagine, a bicep like this not really functional, is it? So if you can imagine this example applied to the pelvic floor, you can actually understand that if that pelvic floor can only contract and it can never let go. Have you ever gone to the gym and you did a lot, a lot of exercise and you overdid it and then it's really hard to go downstairs? That's pretty much what happens here. So if you're really tight on that pelvic floor, often intercourse gets really painful. 
and the more painful it gets, the more your pro body will protect. The more your body will protect, the more pain it will create. So it's a never-ending loop that it's really, really important to break as soon as we can. We can say that for those that have a pelvic floor that is weak, Strengthening that pelvic floor will definitely improve orgasms and a lot of studies have shown that. However, if you don't know how your pelvic floor is, and let us imagine your orgasms are not that good, but you have a little bit of pain during intercourse, all I can ask you is to stop doing your kegel. Because what we know is if you are tight already, if your pelvic floor is already overworked, over tightening it will only increase pain. So here you have five myths debunked. Sex is about intimacy. So if it is about intimacy, usually what I recommend is explore your intimacy. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you all. My name is Aline Philip. You can call me Ali. I'm the pelvic tuna and it was a pleasure. Thank you for watching and feel free to subscribe and to comment on the section below and feel free to just send me a message or to comment or with some suggestions for future uh, videos and perhaps about things and uh, subjects that you would like me to talk about. Thank you very much and I wish you a beautiful day.